It's time to unlock the secrets of the ultimate hidden bases. I'll be sharing expert tips, mind-blowing techniques, and insane ideas that will elevate your base to a whole new level. Be sure to stay till the end of the video to get my best tips on how to make the best hidden base. We can go down here to our underground secret unspeakable base. This is so cool look at this everything is themed like my skin even the doors are giant mouths how cool is that we can walk into here and we are presented with pretty much a tropical wonderland there is kind of a kitchen over here and a really cool fully automatic potion brewing stand how sick is this? And I have so much more to show you guys. So definitely be sure to leave a like on this video, click that subscribe button and watch till the end of the video because I have some crazy things to show you guys in this secret Minecraft base. We'll start off over here with the giant lily pad. You guys know that I'm a frog and I love my lily pads. Now this, if we flick this lever right here, it will actually give us, wait for it, Ba -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. a beacon and of course it's green as well and it gives us the jump effect so now we are like a real frog also check this out this island in the middle for all the potions is actually a giant lily pad as well the amount of detail that has gone into this map just blows my mind and if we head over to the giant lily pad that's in the wall we can flick this lever and it gives us a nether portal let's go to the nether because the house does not end there we have another unspeakable house inside the nether look at this it's like a little frog he's got frog legs and frog arms and big eyes i'm telling you guys the amount of detail that has gone into this map is so cool there's like baby frogs all over the place we have this beautiful tree a little pond and of course frogs everywhere and over here we have a massive chess organization system so basically what you do is this chess organization system has almost all the blocks that you need in minecraft i personally hate organizing all my items well this system will do it for you you throw Throw your unsorted items in the unsorted items chest and then it will start taking all your items out of this chest and put them in all of the barrels all organized now that is efficiency over here on the wall we have some random chests and barrels just full of things like you know a chest with clownfish a bowl of salad and tomatoes books a log with leaves a cauldron with acid oh i'll leave that one if we head to the other side we are presented with a table swapper now pretty much we can just press this button and it will swap out a ton of different tables so maybe i don't want that one hmm i'm looking for ah, it I don't know if I'm looking for a stone cutter. What else you got? Maybe like a crafting table? Nah, I'm not looking for that one. Yeah, ah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for, the crafting table. But you get the point. You can pretty much have every table in the game swap through this one block. And when you're done with this area, hop back in the elevator, press the button, and it will take you back upstairs. Now, I have some really, really cool stuff to show you guys up here. Like whatever in the world is down here at the end of the hallway. It is a giant unspeakable. Check out the frog paint paintings on the wall this is so sick oh my gosh it is me in giant version sitting in my throne what in the world this is so so cool over here we have some super op armor we are missing a chest plate that's because i took it and i'm wearing it we can press this button and it will open up my eyeball and take us into the bedroom like what hold on look at this it's literally my eye what <laughs> That is epic. My eye is a door. That is so cool. Now we're presented with my bedroom. We have my bed right here that looks like a frog and a little bit of a lily pad. We also have my computer where I record all my Minecraft videos. And then above it, we have all my YouTube play buttons. Now I don't have the diamond play button yet, but I'm so close, guys. We are at 9 million subs. And if we hit 10 million, I'll get the diamond play button. So be sure to click that subscribe button because let's get unspeakable to 10 million subs. And here, this is my closet. So pretty much, all the armor I have is green. That is my only option of armor. It's all green. Now, what I can do is I can step in here, press this button, and it will automatically dispense armor on me just like that. How cool is that? This is the most advanced base I have ever seen. Over here, we can flick this button and it will open up the wall and give us an enchanting table. And then if we need some lapis, we can press that button and lapis will come out of the ground 
just as we need it. But we also need some experience so we can step on this pressure plate and it will give us bottles of experience so we can enchant with. If we exit the bedroom and head across the hall, we're presented with a secret base. Now we have to know the combination. The combination is pretty simple. All the arrows have to be pointing at the door. So we're gonna switch all these around. There we go. And when they're all right, they will open up the door. And here we are, guys. Look at this. This is a giant frog spaceship. I know, I know. It looks a little derpy, and I really don't know how it's gonna fly exactly. But before the video ends, we're gonna try and see if this thing will take flight. So stay tuned. Keep watching the video. I don't wanna fly it yet because it, it might explode. Uh, it, it might. All right, let's exit my giant eyeball. <laughs> That is so cool. I can't get over it. This room right here. I believe this is the kitchen. Yes, there we go. Check out this kitchen. All the cabinets are bright green, just like my skin. Everything is green. I mean, that cake... I don't really know if that's good to eat, but everything is green in this kitchen. We can keep going and the kitchen just keeps getting bigger and bigger. We also have a giant villager head that will go into a giant villager room that allows us to trade. I'm sorry to interrupt the Minecraft video, but I want to show you guys how you can hop on my server and play Minecraft with me. Once you're on your Minecraft screen, click multiplayer, then click add server. You're going to type in the server address, which is play.chasecraft.gg. Then you're going to click done, and then you're going to click on the server and click join. And it's that easy. I'll see you guys on the server. For one emerald, I can buy three unspeakable hats. Okay, let's try this. All right, it took my emerald. Oh, there they are. There's one right there. There we go. <laughs> Take this bad boy off and put on my unspeakable hat. Oh, yeah. For one diamond, I can get two backpacks. For one emerald, I can get toy frogs. Yo, no way. Stop. Take all my emeralds. Look at this, toy frogs. And for some more emeralds, we can get some unspeakable heads. Okay, maybe not that many, but look at this. We got unspeakable heads. I can go ahead and throw this unspeakable head on. You can't really tell the difference, but it, you know, I, yeah, it's kind of the same head. Anyways, if you think this kitchen stops here, you were wrong because it keeps going. I mean, where do you think we get all the food? There's a massive farm in here. We also have a fully automatic mushroom farm. We can just literally what what we just set a mushroom in there and it literally grows it instantly that is so sick it's gonna grow into oh my gosh oh my gosh this is not good i just made a house i just made it uh, that's actually a pretty cool house we have a fully automatic bamboo farm a fully automatic kelp farm and a fully automatic pumpkin and melon farm everything ends up in the chest after it's broken and look how many melons we got just in one week of living here that is crazy these right here are all the cakes guys check this out we got normal cake we got a green cake we got a bookshelf cake we got an eye of ender cake. That is so cool. We have a little hero brine up there. We have a little zombie. They're so cute. Look at them. Check out how big this furnace is. It is massive. All right, that's enough food for me. My stomach is getting hungry. Let's go into this next room, which I believe is parkour. We have a parkour training room. Hit all the buttons to earn a reward. You guys know I'm bad at parkour, so I had to build a parkour training room. This is just ridiculous, and there's slime down there. That is not good. It's like lava slime. Oh, wait. What is this? It says hit all the buttons. I only hit one button. Oh my gosh. Wait, I see another button down there. Oh, I hit that button. You know, parkour is pretty easy when you have jump boost on. I'm not going to lie. Oh, there's another button I press. There we go. I think this is the last button. Now, I know I'm in creative mode, but I'm doing this legit. Is that the last button? Is that my reward right there? It's emeralds. Look, I think I did press all the buttons. Check it out. We got emeralds. Let's go. It literally just dispenses emeralds from the ceiling. That is so cool. Over here next to the giant unspeakable, we have a dispenser system. Now, it kind of looks like it's like some sort of code but it is actually unspeakable balloons. What? That is so sick. We have unspeakable balloons and you can pick the number of how many you want. So let's say I want eight. I'll press this button and I will get eight unspeakable balloons. Yes. That is exactly what I need. If we head over here, we are presented with a hallway that leads into something that is pretty, pretty cool. This is another training facility that I have built because I am pretty bad at Minecraft Skyblock. So here 
we go. Look at this. It's gonna build me a bridge and I can go over to a sky block. Oh no, I'm falling. No, no, no. There we go. Look at that. I have all my materials for sky block here and I can start playing a sky block survival right in my very own house. And look, it's taking away the bridge. Oh no. Hey guys, it looks like I have to survive here now, I guess. Oh, I'm okay with that. There's literally diamonds down there. All right, now I told you guys if you watched till the end of the video that I would try to launch the unspeakable rocket and just kind of see what happens. Now that is what we are going to try and do. Let's press this button and it's gonna actually open the door that will allow us to go all the way up. Okay, did I press the right button? No, it's not working. For some reason, it's not launching. I swear all my calculations were correct. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The door isn't even opening. I'm going to have to do some maintenance on this big unspeakable rocket. Maybe I have to win the sky block first in order to launch the rocket. But I promise this is an actual rocket launching site. I mean, look at this. Right down there is the hole where the door is supposed to open, but it's not opening for some reason. Here is our hidden waterfall passage. So we don't have too much redstone on this device, but you would probably put this on like the side of a cliff outside somewhere where you would normally see like natural water flowing and then how it works as you can see is it's open right here and we can go kind of walk in just like so we have oh some beautiful cake but of course you can put a chest or you can have an entrance to your secret base or who knows really but once you uh flip the lever up here it's going to close this completely and then the water is going to flow over and it completely closes it. So even if you were to wound up going into the water stream, you can't actually enter it. Now we can see straight through this because it is glass. But of course, if you're putting this into your world, you might want to use like, uh, I don't know, let's do stone. Let's say this is on like the side of a cliff, for example. So we could put some stone here. And then you can see, yeah, you're not you're not going to be seeing through that. So it completely blocks it up. So even if you were to like kind of accidentally run through the waterfall, you still wouldn't see uh, the hidden entrance. The good old hidden tree entrance. Now, the only con that I see to this device is the fact that if your friend or whoever is roaming around your Minecraft world just decides, hey, I need some oak wood or wood in general just from this particular tree, whether it be an oak wood tree or birch wood or jungle wood tree. Um, they're like, hey, I just need wood from this tree. So if they end up uh, getting this last block here, they're going to see a piston and they're probably going to wonder uh what is that and they might do some exploring and find your secret home or secret base and yeah that's the only con that i see to this other than that if you put it in a well forested biome next to a bunch of other trees then you should be good to go and i just noticed that that cloud kind of looks like an eyeball doesn't it look like two eyes is it is it just me or does that look like two eyes yeah, I don't know. I just feel like those look like eyeballs. It's kind of weird and strange. But uh, yeah, so anyways, if you flip this lever right here, it's going to open up the entrance just by a bunch of pistons. Oh, pistons, you do such good work at this device. So then you can hop down here and then you can go into your secret base, your home or wherever you want this to lead. And if you would like to get out, you can press this button right here and it's going to give you a little boost to get out and then um, it's going to go back down. And then if you flip the lever again, I think how it puts the tree back in place is the coolest part. So if you want to put the tree back in place, you can just do it just like that. It's super quick and super simple. Here we have the glorious and fantastic hidden fireplace entrance that was a very dramatic intro but it is much needed because this is a very hidden entrance so uh yeah this is the hidden fireplace entrance now the good thing about this is we have some good things um i i honestly can't really pick any bad things about this creation but the good things are is number one it's super hidden would you ever walk into your mind or walk into your friend's minecraft house or walk into any minecraft house and expect there to be an entrance that opens up within the fireplace now i know we've seen it in the movies and stuff like that but i would never expect that in a minecraft house i would never think that especially a fireplace that's on fire too it's actually like uh lit up and everything so the way this works is really easy we have a couple pistons back here repeaters and redstone dust it's super easy to make that is another plus to this creation it's very very easy to create so all we have to do is flip this lever and the whole entire thing is going to open up it also of course gets rid of the fire so the whole entire thing just opens up just like that, and it can lead into your other part of your house, maybe like a secret base in your house or something like that. But oh my gosh, it is raining. That, no, 
No! Okay, okay, the rain finally stopped, but if you want to close this thing, it's uh, really simple. You just flip the same lever, of course, and the whole entire thing closes like nothing ever happened. It also lights the fire again, which is awesome. And of course, if you're incorporating this into your house, you would probably want to put the lever somewhere else, unless this is on like uh, a back like hallway of your house or something like that. But I would probably wire uh, the lever or the lever or like whatever I'm using to open this, and whether it be a triple wire or a, I don't know just like a pressure plate I would probably wire it somewhere to the front I'm not entirely sure it really just depends on the design of my house but that is the hidden fireplace hidden pillar entrance anyone huh are you like staying in kind of uh, a big house with pillars well this one is probably for you it's the hidden pillar entrance and as you can see it is very, very easy to create. If you had a house with multiple pillars, you could probably do this to every single pillar and you could probably lead it off to like secret bases, like five to 10 secret bases or something crazy like that. So the way it works is we have a button right here and once we press it, it's just going to make everything disappear. So watch, let me press it again. Uh oh, the lag is real. All right, let me press this again. And it's just going to just attract everything. And we have it walk. Oh, the lag is real. We have a <laughs> we have this mysterious cake just sitting here. But of course, this can lead to just a chest sitting here, or it can lead underground into a secret base. I mean, really, whatever you want it to lead into. Or you could just have this pillar sitting just like this, and it could just be leading to nothing, like like just this cake. But uh, yeah, so we can turn this on, or we can turn it off. I guess I could say. And um, you can see the pillar. Oh my gosh, that is just so cool. That is so cool. I feel like it would be so awesome if you just put like five, if you made like a white house kind of in Minecraft or something like that, or so, uh, some type of a big house with uh, with a bunch of pillars. And you did this to every single pillar uh, standing against the house and it just leaded into like five different secret bases. I just think that would be awesome. You had like a secret base for each one of your friends. The three block wide hidden staircase entrance. Now, if you happen to incorporate this into your Minecraft house, this is probably the coolest staircase entrance there is on the face of Minecraft. There's a lot of redstone, but if you get it done, you have you have you have one crazy staircase entrance. So the way this works is we have a lever down here, and we're just going to flip the lever, and then eat. Yeah, yeah, just just let it speak for yourself. That just happened. It's going to open up this three block wide hidden kind of staircase entrance and you can just go down and walk into your secret base or another whole entire part of your house or wherever you would like that to lead. And then if we flip it again, it's going to put everything back in place like nothing ever happened. Have you ever been just walking through your Minecraft world and you stumble across a little water lake or a little pond or a little lava lake and you're like, eh, whatever. I mean, there's nothing you can really do with them. But what if that was the entrance to your hidden base? So here we have a hidden underwater door entrance and this is a really cool one this one is really awesome now the only con i see to this one is the device to open it so for example the lever or the pressure plate or whatever you're going to use to open it now of course you wouldn't put it all the way down here like underground i mean you could if you wanted to but i would probably wire it to be above ground but the only problem is how are you going to hide it maybe you can just put it behind a block and then uh destroy that block and then flip on the lever and then put a block back in front of it i have no idea that's the only con i see to this other than that this is a perfect hidden underwater entrance so the way it works is all we do is we flip this lever and it's going to retract all the pistons and open up and then we can just kind of fall through here and fall into our hidden little secret lavatory and um, if we flip it again you can see all the levers pushing everything back and up and it's like nothing ever happened but um as you can see right here we do have glass so of course you would not want to put glass around everywhere of course this would be like uh your dirt or here this would this would be eh, oh, oh grab the wrong block so so like this would be if you if this was like a little water lake this would be like you know your dirt and then you would do like the cobblestone down here so one way you could do this is you could have your little water kind of lake right here and then you can go over here and you could like destroy this block and you could have your hidden lever over here that you can flip it and then open up your secret base and hop into it. A hidden enchantment table entrance. Wait, pause there a second. A hidden enchantment table entrance? What? How? Who would expect a hidden entrance within the enchant- no, who would expect that? 
I, I don't know about you guys, but I would not expect this at all. So the way this works is pretty simple. We have a lot, a lot of pistons here and uh, quite a, not that much redstone. Um, it's, ma it's mainly just repeaters and torches, but we have a lot of pistons. So you can see here, you can kind of already see what's going on here, but this is going to make a little staircase for you. So you walk into your enchantment room, you know, you do all your enchanting. Of course, you would want to put a uh, stone instead of glass. This is just for demonstration purposes. So you can kind of see what is going on here. But if we go over here, here to our lever we can flip it and it's going to create a spiral staircase that goes down and around the enchantment table and then into your secret base or I mean whatever you would like to lead this into so yeah and then you can just flip it again let's go ahead and flip it again and then it's going to close up like nothing ever was there who wouldn't want to have a secret minecart docking station going in to your secret base? Uh, hello, me, I would love to have one. So, here it is, right in front of you. I mean, you guys can have it. it it's right in front of your face. Super, super easy and simple redstone. And the way it works is also super easy and simple. So, if we press this button right over here, the minecarts will come out of the ground, wait for it, it will come out of the ground and then you can hop in to the minecart and then what you can do is, I, I would probably wire this button to somehow like, you know, be like next to you so you can press it again, but uh, if you press it again, the minecart will go down and then you'll fly off and then it's going to come back up for its next kind of passenger. Um, but yeah, that's pretty sweet, I mean, who would expect a minecart to be pushed in the ground by pistons and then sent off to a secret base. I mean, I would not expect that, but that is a very interesting entrance to your secret base. I introduce to you the 3x3 hidden secret entrance door. Now, yeah, that was that was kind of a kind of a handful to say there, but this one is crazy. I mean, as you can see, there's so much redstone. You're probably wondering why so much redstone for only a 3x3 door. But when you see this thing open, um not open yeah, yeah yeah if you if you see it open um it's really crazy the closing part is super quick but the opening part is just insane so let's go ahead and flip this lever right here and here we're going to see it close so close yeah you know really simple really quick really easy and it's good that it closes fast just in case your friend is chasing you and you need to close the door fast then i mean it closes really quickly but the opening part however not so fast but it's really cool to see because it's going to attract those blocks the pistons are going to come up and grab those and then wait for it the pistons will come back up and then grab all those and pull them back down and this one this process kind of takes a little bit but it's just so cool to watch like it's just like what the heck like would you ever expect that wait for it there you go so they have all been attracted and that's why there's probably so much redstone that goes into the creation of this 3x3 door the switching stairs, one of my favorites because it's so simple to create and it's very hidden. So if we can see here, there's not a lot of redstone at all. It would probably take you not even five minutes to create this. I could probably do this in a minute. Super easy redstone, only a couple pistons, only a couple pieces of redstone dust and repeaters and you have yourself this crazy entrance. So this is what the entrance looks like when it's open, but if we close it, these stairs are going to switch and it's all of a sudden going to turn into stairs. So you can have this as like a staircase up to the second story of your house and then you can be like oh maybe i want to show my friend my secret base so i'm going to flip the lever and then it just goes down into your secret base so that is the switching stairs i'm going to be showing you around at my dirt mansion yeah it, it's 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 what is it not a mansion it is a mansion look at it what it's not uh, okay it's a little small i know um, okay fine I'll, I'll get a real mansion okay there you go i turn it into a mansion is that good enough is that is that is that a large enough dirt house for you guys all right well <laughs> Back to my other small house, because this is actually my friend's house. I borrowed it just for... Anyways. <laughs> All right, we're back. And I know it's a little small, but guys, I promise you, there is a lot more than what uh, uh, meets the eye. Let me give you guys a nice little tour. So you walk in. I, I, I don't know how to make a door. So I made trap doors. That was good enough, right? When you walk in, it's a, it's a little small and cozy. This is my best friend, big boy. And then this is my, my bed. That's my craft table. That's my furnace. This is my dead bush. Yes. But guys, I promise it gets way cooler. Look, if you grab these pieces of dirt and you put it in this chest, it then transforms into a bigger house. See? And big boy, personally, he likes this house a lot more. So normally I like to keep it on this house. But yeah, now it's a, it's a bigger house. See, it's, it's pretty cool, I think. 
I think it's pretty cool. I personally like the uh, the smaller house better. I don't know, it just fits me. But if you walk in here, this is my bedroom. I have a bunch of different chests. I don't really do anything with them. Every once in a while, I'll put one apple in them, but not more than one because I think, you know, the chests are just there for decoration. If we head downstairs, big boy is actually sitting on the button. But if we press this button, we will actually be teleported underground, which is pretty sick. And this is my secret lair. Now, I personally think the house gets way cooler than here. If you grab what's in this chest, it's just a book. And then you put it in here. Then you press the button and it opens up this secret fancy door that I don't even know how I made. And then, and then if you don't walk through it fast enough, it, it, um... It does. Yeah, there we go. Just walk in and then and then close it. So this is kind of like the main hall, I should say. If we walk down here, there's actually a bunch of different portals. We'll get to all these portals in a second. I want to show you guys most of the rest of the house. If we walk in this way, this is actually an elevator that goes, oh, flip. It's a little quick. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is actually is my bedroom. This is my one of three bedrooms. The first one being in the dirt house. The second one being in the second transforming teleporting house. And the third one being underground right here. And if you walk into here, we have some other rooms in here. Just kind of a lounge sitting chill area. And then this is my bathroom. That's my toilet. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. If we press this button, the elevator will come back down and get us. And then we can head back up here. Now we can go ahead and grab this torch, set it right here on this block and this is going to open up pretty much the rest of the house which i will warn you is pretty flipping big so let's head downstairs here and then we head into this room so you can see there's a bunch of different things there's a crafting table and there's a furnace which is basically like different rooms and there's also this thing which is the teleporter which teleports us to multiple different sections of the house before we hop into the teleporter i want to show you guys everything over here so if you head over here this is the kitchen or the furnace area and you can throw ingredients in all, uh on the grill right here or on the hoppers and it will pretty much put them into all these hoppers smelt them and then put them in the fridge where we can dispense them and get them as cooked food later which i think is pretty cool and then it's complete oh look my apple collection is full a little behind the scenes here we're actually behind the wall right now this thing actually smelts extremely fast because it uses a ton of different furnaces basically the way it works is when you put your item in those hoppers it drops it off in that minecart chest and randomly drops it between about i don't say i don't know about 10 different furnaces all those 10 different furnaces are going to be smelting so they're spreading out all the items and then they drop them back in that hopper and then go back up to the fridge. So yeah, that's pretty much how the grill works. It's pretty cool. If we head over here, this is the crafting table area. Yeah, it's literally just a crafting table. A lot of people ask me, hey, why didn't you just set the crafting table there? And I said, well, if we're going to be fancy, we need pistons that put the crafting table away when it's not being used. This over here is the chest room. If we press this button, it's going to open up a bunch of chests. There's a bunch of chests right here, two inner chests, four large chests, and then over here, you can press this button and it teleports you to another room with a huge chest organization system. This organization system is actually really cool. You come back from a long day of mining, you're doing whatever you have, and you have all these items, but you're like, oh, I don't want to sort them. I just want to go to bed. Well, you can indeed do that. Um, You can just put them in this input chest. You can drop all your items in here, and this will take all your items and sort them throughout the chest they are labeled, which is pretty cool. So... Yeah, that's that. And then if we head down here, there's some more stuff down here. This is actually more chess organization things. So this is a shulker box. It's actually a bunch of different shulker boxes. I'm sure you guys know that every shulker box is different. So it pretty much just spawns in a bunch of different types of colors, which is pretty cool. So basically it's like having 15 different chests in one block. Now, if we head down the hall, there is a minecart with a chest with a bunch of iron. However, if we press this button, we can actually switch the chest to another minecart with a chest with different types of items such as gold. But let's say you don't want gold today. I don't want gold. You know what I want? Some good old redstone dust. That's what I'm feeling. But that chest is just full of a ton of different types of ores, which is pretty sick. Now, if we head across, this is actually a secret room. You need a combination to get in here. Now, we have signs directing us, telling us what to do. But if you remove the signs, obviously, it's a lot more difficult. So down, 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 and that one is left up. And then you grab this key pass, put it in here, and then press the button. And it opens a chest full of diamonds. And I'm going to quickly take all of those. And I'm going to run. Let's go ahead and return. And now we are back here. So we've checked out all these rooms now we can hop in the teleporter and we can go to another section of the house. Now, this right here is the cake room. It's just the cake. That's it. And then this right here is kind of a clock. So it lets you know 
if it's nighttime or daytime. So if we do time set zero, they should all turn on because now it's daytime. Now, if we do time set 1800 or just time set night, they'll all turn off. Well, it's half night because it's actually sunset. If we do 1800, which is like midnight, yeah, it turns the other two off because now it's like pitch black, like don't go outside. There's creepers everywhere. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's basically a clock because I mean, you, there's no windows because we're underground. Now there's three different rooms. We'll start with this one and we'll just go throughout the others. Now this is pretty much just a world map and um not really too much you can kind of see where we are right now that's actually the house right there but we're way over here because we're way underground but you can see the map it's pretty cool there's a bunch of lava hot tubs i would say throughout this uh area so there's a little island you know nice little ocean do some swimming catch some turtles whatever you want <laughs> go ahead and return and then we can go into this one and this is pretty much a potion brewing room now i'm being completely honest i don't know exactly how this works but if you ever want to brew potions and make some chemistry come to this place oh there is a how-to button okay well there you go <laughs> If we go over to this room, this is actually going to be the armor room. Now, this is pretty cool. If you stand here, let me go ahead and I'm just going to actually clear my inventory. If you press this button, it instantly puts full diamond armor on you, gives you a sword, a bow. Now, this bow has, I'm not sure what kind of a chance it has on it because it doesn't say, but I'm assuming it has infinity. Consider, oh, it doesn't have infinity. Never mind. Could I have my arrow back, please? Thank you. And then we also have a shield as well. So that's pretty cool. And then if we head down here, this is actually a armor stand display with glass around it. If we press this button, it takes off the glass. And then if you press this button, it will actually cycle through different armors, such as iron armor, gold armor, diamond armor, pretty much all types of armor that you can imagine. That's pretty much it for this room. If we press this button, we can actually go downstairs right here. And this is going to take us to another set of rooms. Yeah, it never stops. I know. This house is massive. Flat. So this room is probably the easiest and the smallest. It is, you can set your spawn point right here. So if you ever die, you don't spawn wherever the heck your spawn point was before because there's so many different beds in this map. But it's nice because you can set your spawn point right here. So if you go in to fight the Ender Dragon or going into the Nether and you keep dying and every time you die, you have to run like 500 blocks back here. If you take this torch, put it right here, it actually makes a end portal. And if you take this torch and wow, it fell in the lava. We can use this one. It actually makes a Nether portal. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I'll throw this torch in the lava just because. Over here, this is your villager place. So there's villagers in here. You can pretty much just walk into the glass and there's a bunch of different rooms with villagers. Hello guys, how you doing? So you can trade with these dudes do whatever you need to do and then you can go in this room and there's a bunch of other ones and uh yeah and then you have some dispensers here the one diamond for four emeralds and stuff you can put the one diamond in here and it will give you four emeralds and then there's a ton of villagers for you to talk with and trade with and make some friends this is awkward you guys are all staring with me i'm gonna leave but yeah that's the villager place pretty cool kind of weird and then you can flick this and it actually opens up a little door where you can go into your farm now most of these farms are pretty much fully automatic you have just in here, you have all these farms in this one area. And then you can press this button and harvest them all, which is pretty sick. And then there's also a door as well that allows you to wait, press the button. Oh, uh, there it is. Oh, oh, flip. That was the wrong button. My bad. There's a door where you can walk inside. It's it's just a door. It, it doesn't even look like a door. That's the scary thing. But yeah, I just ruined all my carpet. So <laughs> there's also a cactus farm a sugarcane farm, and a chicken farm, and also a pumpkin and melon farm. And then if we head further down here, there is a ton more stuff. So this is apparently a creeper and skeleton. So you can summon creepers and skeletons and, oh wait, am I unpeaceful? Oh, I am unpeaceful. Well, that's awkward. You can summon creepers and skeletons and pretty much kill them, or you can just bow them and have fun. And then over here, this is a room where you get XP. So it pretty much just drops hundreds of bottles of XP, which is just op i what okay and you can stop it and start it whenever they, believe me there's there's like an infinite amount in there it doesn't look it says there's nothing in there but oh believe me there's more than enough and then this part looks a little sketchy it says just walk that's it as you walk it activates the trap doors which close it so it's kind of weird but it's also pretty cool just whatever you do don't actually you can jump never mind i was gonna say whatever you do don't run and jump but apparently it actually saves you so that's pretty cool and here we have a nice little mushroom grower so if you 
set that right there and then oh flip yep that's what that does <laughs> it's pretty cool and then over here i believe this is a blaze farm so it's going to start farming blazes and they'll fall down here this is all this stuff is old-fashioned this house was made about two years ago guys so but it was updated for minecraft 1.13 so it's pretty cool but this is a blaze farm you can pretty much hit them with your sword get a bunch of blazes farm them Pretty simple stuff. Then over here, we have nether warts. You can press this harvest button and it harvests all of them. And then over here, we have, uh, apparently we have uh, cows, pigs, sheep, and uh, rabbits. So there's a farm that's all the way up there and they will just start dropping. Oh, look at them poor guys. Look at them. There's so many of them. If we go into spectator mode, you can see exactly what's going on here. It's basically just three spawners and they're all gonna drop and fall into the water. All the other ones are pretty much the same way. Oh, actually I was wrong. These are all nether mobs, so... We have blazes, vindicators, zombie pigmen, skeletons, witches. Oh my gosh, that, that's ridiculous. But the reason they aren't spawning is simply because we're in peaceful mode right now. So sorry. Now we're heading out of the farm. The farm is a pretty big area, which is good though, because there's a lot of food in there. But if we head over this way, we can flick this lever and actually allows the water stream to go down and reveal a secret room it's literally just a disco room so you can select the disc and play it and it starts flashing crazy lights it closes the door and it literally just turns into a disco room so yeah it's super laggy as well because it's using a ton of different redstone but we're gonna go ahead and take that out nope 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 give me the disc give me the disc okay what and there there we go and we can go ahead and head out of here but wait you thought there was that was all no 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 look at all these look at all these little uh pieces of sand um i believe Leave. something happens here i'm actually not sure how to activate it might just be this oh no stairs behind stairs oh what the heck what the heck is this fill buckets with water empty water buckets okay that's pretty cool and then over here we have an enchanting room as well and it actually leads into a secret room believe it or not there's so many little rooms in this house and in this room you have like some secret chest stalker box really whatever you need and then you can head back up here here and you have this chest with a ton of lapis and a ton of books that you can use for enchanting you can also replace this anvil as well if it ever gets old um, or you can just stack four of them on top of each other and be satisfied for a while and then you can close this as well which is pretty sick and there was a missing block whoopsie and then over here you can actually press this button and i guess it starts mining oh no it takes you to a mine okay so it takes you to a mine where you can mine and get some ores which is pretty sick and then you can go back in here hit return start and stop so this is actually like a little cobblestone generator farm so you can press start here and basically what you do is you start hitting it with a pickaxe before it reaches the obsidian but you pretty much just mine up cobblestone so if i start mining it there we go you can see that it's just going to keep coming. So it's pretty much cobblestone farm where you can just sit still and then you can stop it. And then if we head back here, let's get back to what we were doing with our secret rooms. But it's this one right here. So there's a secret room right here. Like I said, I'm not sure how to activate it. Oh, snap, I found it. Okay, you put a redstone torch on that block. <laughs> I just saw that block and it, and it didn't look like any of the others. And then you go in here and you press this button and it sends you all the way down here. Wait for it to stop so you don't take too much damage. And then you're in this room. So it's super weird. You can press this button. It actually takes you back up. But we don't want to do that. So we'll go back down here. And then if you go all the way down to the end, there's some lights as well. It's like a secret little room. <laughs> okay. And then you step on this and it allows you to go into a theme park. A literal theme park. Yeah. Yeah. Just when you thought that this house could get any cooler, we are now in a theme park. Literally a roller coaster. So, um, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is some sort of game. Oh, it's like kill all the mobs you can. Okay, so there's a bunch of little, like, arcade games and stuff. This is like kill all the mobs you can. There's a huge, like, slot machine over there. There's ice cream. There's also this massive roller coaster. We literally have a theme park inside our tiny little dirt house what the flip so it's basically like a slot machine so you flip it and uh oh wait do you have to go inside here oh what is this oh snap there's like an arcade oh so it's a mini little slot machine right here oh my gosh that's so cool i thought the whole thing worked that's pretty sick okay that's awesome that is so cool excuse me i thought we we're on peaceful mode 
I thought we were on peaceful mode. Yeah, there's an ice cream shop. Is that a McDonald's right there? I think there's actually like a nice little McDonald's restaurant right here. Yep, I see some French fries. Look at this. So we got hamburgers, sandwiches, pancakes, tacos, fries, everything you could imagine. Excuse me. I don't know why there's so many zombies back here. So I apologize. I'm just going to go into creative mode for now. But if we kind of fly around, there's more games. So this is bowling, which is pretty sick. So, so we got a bowling ball right here. And then I believe you just throw it and it will eventually oh look it says i got a pin okay that's pretty cool so then we got nuggets which are coins and then you can go over here so there's a bunch of different games now apparently these are coming soon so they don't work yet and then over here is ice cream so we can pretty much like there's tons of different types of ice cream which is pretty sick and then you can select your ice cream flavor and i don't know if these actually do anything i don't think they do i think they're just for show but it's like a giant ice cream machine and then you have basketball over here you can grab some of your basketballs over here so you can be ooh, whoop, whoa there we go that's pretty that's so sick <laughs> and then over here you have slushies as well which are basically potions so you have green slushies red slushies and then on for the roller coaster i'm not actually sure where to enter this thing you enter the roller coaster right here so this is the sonic something um and then you go up here you press this button, or actually, sorry, you're supposed to get a minecart first. You're supposed to get a minecart, put it right here, hop in the minecart, then press this button, and it takes you on a roller coaster. Literally, what the heck? There's a whole entire roller coaster in here. And the map creator plans to make a ton more stuff as well. Like, this is literally only the beginning of this redstone house. There's TNT that explodes. It's awesome. And then you go up here, and then you go back down. What the <laughs> <laughs> oh, more TNT exploding. And then you go all the way up here. But yeah, you get the point. And then eventually you'll just keep going. And then you'll fall off. And then you'll land right here. And then it'll pretty much come to an end right there. So that is pretty sick. I am not even going to lie. A whole entire roller coaster in our dirt Minecraft house. What the heck? Like I said, the map creator is going to make a ton more. You can see all the empty space in there. So they plan to make a ton more stuff. All right. So now we're back here where we started. Now, just when you guys thought that this place was over, it is not even close to being done with. If you head down here, remember the three portals that I showed you guys in the beginning? There's a ton of stuff that I got to show you guys through these portals. So if you head through here, this is actually going to teleport you to three other flipping rooms. And then there is a giant swimming pool right here, which is flipping crazy uh, this is apparently a working diving board so right when you stand on it it actually gives you a jump boost which i think is pretty sick and then there's like a waterfall kind of hot tub area and then if we head over here this is actually a movie theater so you can take popcorn this is crazy it's not an actual movie that plays but you just walk up it's a huge theater it just says end on the screen, which is pretty sick. But there is actually a little bit of a movie. It's very, very short. It's extremely laggy, but like it's literally just a snowman that gets abducted into a cloud. <laughs> so it's basically like, what the heck? This house is insane. I showed you guys the dirt house in the beginning of the video. This dirt house has a pool, 50 different rooms, a movie theater, a whole entire roller coaster, and we're still just getting started. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ridiculous. If we head back over into here, this is, what is this? Oh, it's a camera. It's like a photo shoot. Run on gray wool to make it look like you're running in the movie. Get your friend to record it and then edit it on the green screen as well. Oh, that's so sick. So it basically looks like I'm running in a movie. You can get someone to record it if you have another Minecraft player, and then you can edit it on the green screen as if you're like running in like an actual forest or something. That is so sick. And then if we head down into here, into the depths of, I don't know, tried to fit as much art as I can. So this is pretty much the art room. And no, there is nothing behind any of these paintings. I promise. Not even the ones all the way up there. It's, it's just an art room. And then over here, this is a trampoline, which is pretty cool. So you can pretty much just bounce away. I think it's pretty sick. And then over here, this is another room where you can get a bunch of random effects effects so this is basically a beacon room so you can press this and it will give you some effects you can also change the colors of the beacon wherever the beacon is i'm not sure i think it's supposed to be right here but it's not right here wherever that beacon is you can change all the colors and it's pretty sick and you can also change what it gives you so 
pretty cool. So that is pretty much the happy face part. Now, if we head into the book portal, it is going to teleport us into a bunch of different rooms as well. Oh my gosh, this place never ends. But the book portal is more serious stuff. So you have a meeting room over here. Um, you can close and open the door for if you want to have a private meeting. And then over here, I believe this is a workout area. Yeah, so you can start running and then you can just keep running. It's pretty much a treadmill, which is pretty cool. Villager punching bag. There's a villager punching bag where you can practice your sword hits and all this stuff. Like it's, it's literally a gym. What the heck? How can you have a gym in Minecraft? I don't know. But there's also, this is kind of like your book room or library, but you can take this torch, put it right here, and it actually takes you right here. And then you flick this lever, I think. What does it do? Does it not do anything? It actually does nothing. There's nothing in this command block. It's just empty. Okay, that's awkward. <laughs> But yeah, that's the uh, meeting slash business room. Now we have one more portal to go through, which is this one. Everything that doesn't fall under productivity or fun is in this portal. So if we go in here, we have a room over here, which is a fireplace room. And it's just kind of a chill sitting room. And then if you go over here, this is literally like a whole entire forest. Um, you can grow farms over here you can harvest them um you have literally a whole entire forest like it's it's weird but it's cool and then over here you have more farms so you can start duplicating stuff and then eventually it will end up in this chest a bunch of different types of flowers so there's a farm over here and then over here you can be teleported into this room which is a bunch of different stuff i believe actually wait this might be a different room that i'm thinking of peaceful up normal down so if you turn down you place an egg in the dropper so pretty much i think this spawns like a ton of different stuff so let's say you want to spawn a zombie horse you take the zombie horse egg you put it in here you press this button it says it spawn oh there they are there they are so there's four of them so this is pretty much an area where you can test mobs and spawn them and do pretty much whatever you want to it's kind of interesting and then you have mob effects so you have thaw unmute freeze poison lightning so if i take for example this lightning put it in here and then press this button it will apply a lightning effect oh why is there so many of them ah! Is it not working? It's, oh, this thing is so cool. Kill all mobs. Does it not work? It's super weird. It's not, it's not working for some reason, but if you guys do get it to work, you pretty much put your mob effects in here and it does what the effects does. So it gives the mob slowness. It gives the mob mute. I'm not sure what that does. It clears the effects. It can give the mob speed. It can levitate the mobs. You can kill all the mobs. You can give them strength. You can give them poison. And you can kind of see, I guess, how they react and test different mobs. Then you can head downstairs. And this actually heads into more flipping rooms. I'm sorry. I'm not complaining. This house is just ridiculous. Over here, this is pretty much just a bathroom. You have a cabinet, toilet, shower. And then this room is kind of the do whatever you like room. It literally says you can make it your own room. So you can put whatever you want here. Pretty large space, so you can do quite a bit of stuff, even some redstone stuff as well. And then over here, this is the elevator. Um, and then if you walk in here, you can press this and you will get taken down into a lower area right here. So this is the treasure vault. So um, let's figure out the combination. Down, 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 down. Okay, so I accidentally broke the map. I pressed the button and it started taking the elevator up, but I accidentally broke a part of the elevator and it literally just deleted itself. So you're supposed to do something with the redstone torch. There was some signs here, but I don't know what they said. But if you do that, it gets rid of this wall or you can literally just break it. It's totally up to you. If you walk into this area, so this side you have down and then the other side you have down, down. And then it opens this and then you walk down here and then i i just broke the nether star i'm sorry guys oh my gosh there's another star in there with special text on it and you're supposed to put it in here after you put it in there it opens up this door i'm sorry i'm sorry i accidentally broke it i'm so sorry <laughs> and then you head over into here and now you're in this room full of diamonds gold and just emeralds redstone all the gold and diamonds you can imagine so that's ridiculous just if you guys are curious i'm gonna fly around in specter mode and show you guys what the house looks like underground so this is just to show you guys truly how big this house is it is like i said ridiculous that this house turns in from a dirt house into something like this and oh it keeps going and wait for it here is the giant amusement park over here absolutely ridiculous well i bet you guys didn't expect that a house like this little dirt house oh i'm stuck i'm i'm stuck in the wall <laughs> and my dog is dying no i can hear him dying oh big boy suffocated in a wall flip 